He's going pretty good, Alex. How about you? Tell me of bean times. <clears throat> that and that and that. Oh, I need to... <laughs> That's really good. Curry is delicious. Probably one of my favorite foods, actually. Nom 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 nom. Right, no joke, I likes me some curries. Oh. <laughs> That's good. That's a good way to spend the day. I think that... New phone, who dis, Bendy? Going to remove that one. I wish I could figure out why OBS is being angry at VC face so much. Okay, let's try this. There we go. <laughs> Oi. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, there we go. Better, better, better. Clicky poop. For some reason, Mr. OBS has been a little bit angry at me recently. At least when it comes to VC face. But, easy enough to fix. <laughs> okay. What are we doing? Poke. 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 Angie software. It's usually pretty reliable, though, so. I don't tend to have too awful much trouble with it, usually. Mm, two specialized buildings. I know I have some Ash Giant hearts somewhere, and I need three for that halberd. This is going to take a little bit of time to fully build. But no, nah, not enough time for me to take a quick air quotes trip to Sierzo. Or I think it might be in Levant, actually. Not Levant. Um... My house in Holy 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 Mission Capital Monsoon. There we go. Lurk mod. Welcome, Clockwork. <clears throat> <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight? Alex seems like he's doing pretty good. Handsome curry. What about you two? <laughs> I 
think my plan yesterday was to poke at old Sirocco, which will involve basically just more pitched combat, almost getting my butt kicked by Scarlet's emissaries. So you know. I did get a hold of Chivalry too, by the way, Clockwork. As I remembered that you were wanting to stream it at some point. Howdy Spicer, welcome. It's another day. It's another bean beany day. No. No, Bendy, you can't lurk. Forbotten. You gotta stay. So rude, Clockwork. Aren't you supposed to be a friendly adventurer? <laughs> okay, Bendy. There will be no beans for uh, bad, bad uh, clockworks. Very serious. <laughs> it's oddly poetic, Alex. Is poetic the word I'm looking for? It's funny. It made me laugh. Me. <laughs> Pigos. Right. Hmm. Forgot to get water. Oh well. <clears throat> Brand in good shape. Yes, it is. Delicious pigo meats. <laughs> Thank you, Spicer. I think that is all that Spicer uses his points for, and it very much does amuse me. Ugh. Spooky. It's true. I wasn't sure if you were serious, though, Spicer. Hey, spider. Long time no see, friend. It's been a while since we've seen spider. 
Or at least a talky spider. <laughs> Welcome back. A cup of beans. <laughs> it's that good to see you back. <laughs> that actually worked out pretty well. Oh, oh. oh I may deserve this. Yep. <laughs> I was being a little bit too cocky there. But I really... I really wanted to try and kill them with only the little fire thing. They did. They did beat me up. But of course, it was all in the plan. Not really. Uh, it does provide a convenient place for me to begin doing our loot cycle, too. He did. Greg is a champion. Come on, Greg. We're going on an adventure. Oh, sweet. Looks like it was a good idea to get captured. One hundred percent. Anyone who tells you that it wasn't planned is not cash money. It's true. Hi, Thiefy. <laughs> Durable. Oh. 
Come on in here. One. Yeah, why not? How you doing tonight, Thiefy? Do 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 do. That's cool. Feel free to hang out and relax. That's what I'm here for. To make happy friends. I'll take the killer gray stuff. Oh. The blue boy. Oh! Okay. But alas, his hype was his defeat. But only a little bit. You have to control the hype, not be controlled by it. <laughs> I like that. I might title that particular uh, episode, this particular episode, that on YouTube, actually. That's a pretty good one. Howdy, Fiverr. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How you doing? Any interesting developments today? Oh. Good. Have a good dinner. Ow. Bonk. What you having for dinner? Is it a good meal? It better be a good meal. I have burritos. Burritos are a good meal. <laughs> Cheese burrito. Oops. <clears throat> Peer around the corner. It's true.
That sounds very interesting, though I do not know that language. What are the ingredients? How is it prepared? Other than salami. I think I know what salami is. Probably. Yes. I really actually want to do that, to be perfectly honest, Alex, because it sounds tasty. I know that you can use banana... You can make, like, a, an ice cream with banana. Eggs, salami, and bananas. Plantains, right? So not like uh, the regular bananas most folks will see in a grocery store. Right? Howdy, Dark. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing today? I'm going to ask that of everybody that comes in. <laughs> because all of you are very precious beans. I like that this is a plainly sort of steampunk construct, but there are cave drawings and stuff along the side as well. Yes. This is true, Bendy. <laughs> Laura Caligrace. I'm gonna bop you. Come here. Oh. Do you think? Bam. One hundred percent calculated. That sounds delightful, Fibra. It's true. So that's straight up a Caligari ship. Which means they're very smart. So they may have cave drawings, but they're also advanced enough to figure out the inner workings of an airship. So rather than being any sort of backwards culture or anything like that, you might think, they're fairly advanced and their culture is more of a choice. To rephrase, not barbarians, different. Though I am 90% sure that you ask anybody that isn't a Caligri in this game, or a Jin, you'll probably say they're close to it. Pig. Alas, he was not a cultured pigo, Alex. Taking this. <laughs> okay. 
Oh man, they're actually kind of fast compared to other enemies. I forget. Hello there, Mr. Piggo. Can't get away with that one quite as... Well, Spicer, to be fair, it is uh, a onus that you place upon yourself, my friend. It's true. I can agree with that. But therein lies some of the charm, too. You'll never know what you're going to get, Spicer. Just gotta tweak and tweak and mod and mod until it feels right to you then. <coughs> Add infinitum. Shouldn't have jumped down here. Mm, probably only one active. Hmm. 
true. All mods aren't made to work with other mods. Oh no, I'm not talking right now, Bean. I was concentrating on bopping a critter. <laughs> and sometimes I just sort of... Welcome, Bean, by the way. Nice to see you again. That's not good, Bendy. Go take some medicine or lay down. Whatever you need to do, okay? Ooh. How are you liking the dungeon so far, then? <laughs> Picking up a really good MMO feels good, though. Like, mmm... <clears throat> you like in your white mage? Hmm. White mage is probably one of my favorite classes. really are. I've never, like, I've never really run across an outwardly hostile person in Final Fantasy XIV. They're all just good folks, which is really nice. Most of them will have a word of encouragement at the very least. They are good beans. Hey, buddy.
getting used to PC being, especially coming from like a console or something like that, can be almost jarring. But once you get used to it, the extra utility and stuff you have from the keys and stuff like that feels like you're playing an instrument whenever you're doing like a uh, a raid or a dungeon, especially as a uh, words words are hard as a healer or something like that. Go play Vanilla Skyrim and Spicer. <laughs> Go look at it, play Vanilla Skyrim, and then realize that you want to mod some other certain things. Sink into the same hole as you did with the modding, and uh, keep going. You know what I mean? You're gonna you're gonna get got by the mod hole again, Spicer. Bards are rad. And you don't see too awful many bards either. Some of their stuff is so good. So much good utility. Dark Souls 2, also probably one of my favorites. I saw the Elden Tree, Elden uh, Ring trailer. Um, gimme, 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 gimme. We streaming that, but I'm also probably gonna make another character on it too, to play myself. But we'll have a stream character, but I'm gonna play a lot of that game. Ooh. Maybe we won't have a stream character. Maybe it'll be the same character. I don't know. Elden Ring's getting played on this channel. Mmm, patty melt. Have a good lunch. Dinner? Dinner. Leonard. Oh my god, there's so many of my dimes. Please don't. Yeah, heck you. Uh. No, please. No laser beams. I don't want it. Just keep hacking. Just keep hacking. Just keep hacking. I love that confusion buff. It is indeed the jelly bird laser things. <sighs> the worst of enemies. Step right up. Step right up. Come here. Let's go. You suck. You suck. Still suck. That's a confusion debuff. Yay! Do not. Oh. <laughs> we'll put Greg in a trap.
Come on. You know you wanna. No, wrong direction. Come on. Hey. Nope. Desist. Stepped on the trap. Oh. Come here. Uh. Eh. Eh. Not this again. Oh. We getting rid of it. Meow. Okay. Pick up my backpack, please. They have a lot of natural region. Get my dyes to death. That's so many mods. But I bet it was so cool. I want to open this, but I don't know how. Let me in. <clears throat> Only to be over when Architraz is dark, d d docked here. 
so that has something to do with uh, feeling the arc or something like that? Or is that another path to the djinn? <laughs> you have you have put too many too many hints in the beans. It does move around. Yeah. Yeah, I do. <laughs> there should be a ash giant hunter around here somewhere. <clears throat> Sorry about clearing my throat every so often. I got a little bit of a tickle in my throat. Hello, Bendy. Are you feeling okay? I take that as a no. If you need to bow out, do it. I'm not going to keep you here if you're not feeling good, okay? Okay. What did you eat that has caused you so much pains? Ah. Huh. There's a campsite in there. Maybe here? No. Okay. Never mind, I'm dumb. Welcome back, Mug! Welcome back to another uh, Ari stream where I wander around in this place and get bonked by crabs and stuff. But that's okay. Turkey sandwich with pepper jack cheese, spinach, and lettuce. And that sounds tasty. <clears throat> that sounds really tasty. What you got, buddy? Maze mash. And incendiary charge. Don't mind if I do. Nom, 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 nom. But your body be like, I want junk food. <laughs> Feed me chicken. <laughs> Greasy fried chicken fresh from the Popeyes. It's true, but I don't know about you, man, but I could go for a Popeye's spicy chicken sandwich right now. Probably one of my favorite things from Earthside. Stupid, tasty sandwich.
Yeah, it's really far away though. Also, I'm in the middle of a stream. I'm hoping too, Alex. I need uh, chromium shards for a town hall. I think. Chromium shards for a general store. I'm already building the town hall. As soon as I get a general store and like the food shop open, I can start crafting more foodie items and cookery and stuff like that. Also chromium shards for a chapel. But access to easy supplies will give me a better staying power so I can gather money more effectively and more frequently. Also, I'll be able to buy things like uh, traps and stuff without having to hit these supply boxes all the time. I haven't found chromium shards, which kind of surprised me. I felt like I'd had some at some point. But I think that was probably just the beast golem fragments I had in storage. Mr. Gargoyle, don't come over here. I'm really... <laughs> I want to find more stupid giant her hunting giants. Because I want their... I want to rip out their hearts so I can make a cool halberd. <laughs> <laughs> I imagined that time that the puffer fish was on one of the giant's heads. <sighs> Thank you for your advice, though. I appreciate it. <laughs> I just wish it wasn't the case. <laughs> I think I have two in Monsoon. So we might take a trip to Monsoon then. I do know I have... Uh... <laughs> Some decent little bits of equipment there too. I'll pick up that lexicon and stuff that I had. And, uh other stuff. <laughs> Probably not all of it, because it this shit is heavy. Can I help you? It's true. A sad future. A future that I do not wish to be a part of. Hmm.
15 days. It's a good idea. It's a very good idea. I'll do that before I head to uh, Monsoon. Oh yeah, those. I didn't notice it. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> I leaned a little bit too far back that time. In my chair, leaned back. Thank you. <laughs> I go whoosh. <laughs> Crap. You can try. I believe in the you that believes that you will try. <laughs> okay, that's all for our traveling stuff. So there you are. Let's see about the wonderful news. There's our chromium shards. Now, what critters did wonderful news? Here's what we need. Get it done. Cash monies. So, what's on the agenda today? How can I help you? So there's some Caligre hairs for some monies. It's gonna say traveling funds. Yeah. I'm happy with that look. Real happies. Mm, let's see. Yeah, we're just gonna dump most of our Valuables into How funds I while I am off and about. Whew. So expensive. Oh. Six days. That should be done. How many days does it take to travel in between regions? Two? Three? Well, hmm. Travel to Monsoon to recover some of my old equipment and valuables to sell to fund Sirocco or more dungeon dives. Opinions, please. I do have a few things I can probably hawk here, too. Howdy, K9. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, friend. Sounds like a plan. I'm also going to hawk those two things. 
How can I help you? So, what's on the agenda today? Because that's going to be quite a few funds. Will this finish space two or three? All right, we'll hit the ornate chest and chests. We might delve Sirocco, and then I will start my way on to um, Monsoon. Because I'm not going to be able to carry everything from Monsoon either. And a lot of stuff, like palladium armor. Rations cost minus one. So Enricar is four, so three days. And then Monsoon will be two days. And then two days, and then three days. Okay. So two, four, six, eight. I'll miss maybe a couple of days of travel time then. Pigs. Patrolling pigos. Defending old Sirocco to their last breath. Oh, I thought those were alive. I was like, it was a it was an ambush. A ruse. They're learning. The wingdings are in the sky. Pigos are dangerous. <laughs> it's just wingdings in the shape of a hippo head in the sky. I wonder if there are any interesting constellations in the sky, or if that's just like a stock skybox looking thing, and they just dotted a whole bunch of dots on it. The winged dings. What if it does not have a real sky canine? It's true. Having a sky that does not exist is sad. Oh my gosh. Come on. Let's go. You want to fight? Let's fight. Not that kind of fight. Get back down here. That's stupid. That is stupid. Oh, they're gliding towards me. Quit it. Ugh. 
That is not a game I would expect, too, but I do know that they have some rather esoteric secrets in Payday 2, so I suppose it's not unheard of. Isn't uh, Payday 2 still being developed? <laughs> oh, I can feel myself aging. <laughs> Didn't uh, Skyrim come out in 2011? Yeah, I remember the launch date was 11-11-11. Don't you try to trick me, Spicer. <laughs> <laughs> Spicer was tricked. A ruse. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll get the peach seeds. <laughs> you seem very adamant, so... <laughs> what if I don't want peach seeds? <laughs> they finally gave in and now they're like I have to recommend this to everyone Spicer, why didn't you tell me about this? Oh no, I've been sucked. Uh, I care. Not really.
Could you not, you bomber deer beetle looking? Fall. Fall to your doom. Kill those burning men. <laughs> Your life is forfeit! That's right, show me your soft underbelly. Kinda neat, K9. Use the prophecy one. I wonder if those bugs or the the burning men are gonna win. Beetles. Yep. Nah. Ah, tor crab for the uh, sweep. Okay, that's a pretty good memory, Alex. I'm imagining two kids just sitting around a computer like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you suck. You suck, Jim. <laughs> Tabalar looking weirdo. Is that Scarlet Emissary in there? Probably. I wonder if that Tor Crab will fight the Scarlet Emissary. Do we have bets on Tor Crab versus Scarlet Emissary? <laughs> but what if the Tor Crab wins? Thor crab. <laughs> Howdy, Mia Bean. Welcome. Ah, please don't. Come on. Come on, we're going on an adventure. Let's go. I said no fireballs. Let's go. Come on. Come on, it's fight club time. Let's go. We're going this way. I'm doing pretty good, Mia. How about you? Did you stop? Come on. Ah. 
good. No, you don't you run off. You come over here. Hey, then you come here. I know you're. Yeah. So saying now we wait for the sounds of pitched combat. This is actually really sad. <laughs> the stupid tour crab's getting his butt beat off. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, I kind of feel bad. That's it. He's dead. Ooh. Not even a, not even a phantom of a chance. Was me being thirsty too? No. Well, the next day one is fine, I guess. Like that. Who would have known? Like really? Honestly, Spicer, it really came out of left field for me. Like that, and that, and this, and this. How could we have known? I can't believe you've done this. Slurp. Uh, one, two, one. Um, fire, cool. lightning. There is no way we could have known. Hey, he hurt him a little bit. Ah, uh, he's hurting me a little bit. What you're doing? Do your other thing. Oh, can't counter that. I see. Oof. Slurp. I think I may not be able to pull this one out. How badly damaged his brand? That's half damage. Howdy, Rune Beam. Welcome. Ooh. Waiting for that one move. Come on. Welcome, welcome, Rune Bean. And now that that horrific, terrifying thing is dead, uh, thank you for your raid and welcome, friend. Uh, for those who do not know, this is Rune. They're a very good bean. They were doing a big collab earlier where they were playing Remnant with some friends. I appreciate them. They are a very good bean. And also, you're very welcome. I liked showing up. It was cool. Yep. 
Thank you, by the way, Alex. And for the beans that you brought with you, Rune, my name is Ari. I'm a video game player, basically. <laughs> I like to play games like Outward. I played a little bit of For Honor. Uh, I'm probably going to do a little bit of Chivalry too soon. Uh, Alex has gotten it where we have Legends of Grim Dark as well. Grim. 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 It's not Grim Dark. I'm being dumb again. Grim Rock. Grim Rock. And sure, I can see that. That'd be kind of cool. And thank you very much for the follow, Tengoku. I appreciate you. <laughs> Jewelry 2 seems like a very fun game. I have not touched it. So depending on when you would like to do that, we could probably do it with a friend I have called Clockwork. Or just between us and... We could get some fun gameplay. You can watch me fail since I've never played it before. <laughs> hey. Have you looked into uh, Outward Anything Goku? It's a pretty darn good game, honestly. I've enjoyed pretty much every second I've had in this game. And it has been a lot so far. <laughs> I can respect that. Having your back covered in just about any game where it's first person or melee focused is heckin' important. I don't like getting stabbed in the behind. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Essentially, the Outward community on Twitch is what got me rolling as a streamer more. I did a playthrough of Sundered on like my first series, but as soon as I picked up Outward, things started uh, rolling at a very quicker clip. I appreciate my Outward beans. Check over here. I was surprised by the reception a little bit <clears throat> whenever I first started playing Outward, Alex. But it's a good game, and I'm very pleased with how that turned out. I was going to play it anyway. But I've made a lot of cool friends with it. Incidentally. <laughs> Alright. Chivalry 2 collab will be... I might try and get a little bit of practice in before a collab. But I also don't mind getting bopped a few times to learn. And yep. That's where Spicer come from. Pretty sure console. Of course, Alex. Uh, I can't remember if Spider. I think Spider was here too. He was the one that. Uh, he's another one that came. There are at least a handful, and at least a few lurkers that came too. We're gonna do our best. I like spears and halberds, so that's probably what I'll be rocking. Hi, 
I had a, I had a uh, remnant go by the way, Rune. I dropped in when I was in there just in time to see you uh, commit a homicide. <laughs> a homicide, if you will. Mm -hmm. Remnant is a little bit clunky, but scuff is flavor. It's also a challenge to kind of keep things rolling and uh, just talking to folks while you're going to. Eh, my sword is not in a good enough shape for this. Ew. Gross. I hate this. I hate this. Disgusting. Gross cave. The first boss is sort of like a soft skill check. Remnant's pretty darn good. Man, ever since I had a, uh, a sort of viewer night and played Deep Rock with all my beans here. I really want to play Deep Rock some more. We got our fixed sword first, Bendy. <laughs> then we will go into cave. Mm-hmm, mm hmm Rock and stone. Bendy seems to have taken to the uh, scout. I gotta admit, I greatly appreciate that light source. And also, I got a perk that lets me tame uh, <clears throat> grunts, which is rad. You can tame one of the uh, grunt guards with all the armor plates. They can they can slug it out. It's pretty cool. Yep. <clears throat> Having a full team of dwarves is perfect though. They each complement each other really well. I prefer engineer, I believe, as you guys saw. I like building stuff. Can I help you? I'd like to buy something. Book. And that. I'm gonna keep that sword, maybe. Doop. 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 Many. Many. Turrets are cool. I like having minions.
so, there's some wonderful news. Well, let's get to work. Blood root. Pretty sure I'm gonna need that. Okay, how much time we got left on this one? Like a day? No, oh, wait, no, this is a different one. It's ten days on that one. This one, eight, maybe? Five, okay. Um, Need more. <laughs> Why do you like making your dwarves look ridiculous? Also, I haven't tried it yet, but uh, does getting drunk <laughs> in the space rig also make it to where your uh, dwarf ends in the mission drunk? Because that would be terrible. Some of them, uh, you can get special ones that actually have actual effects, like next mission, it's uh, easier to carry heavy things, or you take less fall damage, or your pickaxe power attack charges quicker. It's pretty great. We'll waste a few building days, but that's fine. Do you ever get a player home in this area? Oh. <laughs> You'll like this too, Alex. So I have six emote slots, I believe, right now. None of them are filled because artists are still working on them. But I went ahead and basically got some more. And also, <coughs> thank you, Bendy. I was starting to snatch just a little bit because I was comfy. Uh, I actually asked my artists to start on some more. One of them is going to have uh, Greg featured in it. I was really thinking of a wingding hippo, but we'll see. <laughs> it's only natural. Outward is what helped me get started, of course. This is just overall a fun game. Addy Lily Bean, welcome. How are you doing today? That's okay. 
You're welcome regardless, and I hope you get some rest soon. But thank you for stopping by. Good. You'll get some good restful sleep, hopefully. That sounds like a spy's uh, phrase, Alex. Mountain goat wing ding pigo. And it might spice her, especially if the modding scene gets a little bit more traction. I'd love to see what some of the people that have done some of the more advanced Skyrim mods would do, like getting a hold of a proper modding kit for Outward. How's uh, your packing up and going for the move and whatnot going too, by the way, Lily? Got everything packed and ready to go? Where have you already gone? <gasps> have they said how many more expansions and stuff that they go, Alex? Two days, Lily Bean. Two days. I bet you'll be sleepy when you get there, too. Another question, then. Has Outward been profitable? Or have they said? Also, Lily Bean, my suggestion for uh, the first time that you get to that home, do a great, big, comfy, happy sleep. Because that's what sort of locks in the new homey feel. Who knows? Maybe nine dots and... The outward section will be the next uh, Skyrim sort of thing. Monkey Bean being a distraction. Yeah, uh, Lily Bean, have a big sleep when you get moved in. That's like the seal. That's the sealant on it. Outward oh, selling a million copies is really impressive, honestly. Because they did target a niche. As much as we would like it to not be a niche, they did target a niche with this. But they hit good. Good, 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 good. That's a good plan, Lee Bean. With how small their production team was, and the sort of success you're talking about there, they probably got money to play with, so I'm hardly an expert there.
<laughs> no worries, no worries. Welcome back, Nibby Bean. <laughs> I imagine the DLCs were a lot easier to implement too, Spicer, just because they already had a lot of the assets that they were throwing in. I think that could be pretty cool. What I would kind of look for is a sort of second phase. Or a third phase in this case. Since uh, Sirocco acts as a sort of second phase for the four storylines. Which are Harmaton, Berg, Monsoon, all that. Uh, it would be interesting to see them... <clears throat> basically make a final phase like a big third sort of campaign that everyone can go into it also thank you very much for the follow Pichu I appreciate you and very much welcome you you are a good bean and a welcome bean thank you <laughs> I also wonder if they're going to do anything with the queen and her ascension to godhood. Freeform areas are expensive and difficult to do well is the problem, Spicer. I don't see them doing something outside of this comfort zone, kind of like how these are. Random, den jun bleh, random gen dungeons are always a problem. They'd have to make a massive amount of assets, though they could possibly put them together out of existing ones and just have them snap together and have a generator do it. But making it actually DLC worthy. Hmm. Pichu is a good crop. What you mean, Rune Bean? That would be kind of interesting. A sort of end game area like that. I would like to see some enemies that throw out magic. Kind of like these eye switches here, but use some of the more creative applications. That would require. A heck of an AI boost, but would be pretty worth it, in my opinion. Something like that, Bendy, yeah. Maybe not uh, quite, was quite as anime, but I could see something like that. Maybe like a, uh, a almost like a shamanistic kind of thing. Maybe they summon things or just affect the battlefield in some way. It would also be interesting to see a sort of summoner tree. 
or a way to make more breakthroughs for a character too. Something that you could find that was really difficult in that area, Spicer, that uh, would let you do one or more extra breakthroughs. Ah yes, town lag. This worries me. <coughs> That's just true, Bendy. Something on your mind. How can I help you? No, I sure. Why not? Nice. I'll take a house. Brigand coat. Neat. Let me see how it looks. Oh, it's kind of cool. Too bad. See, think of a witch put hatch on the ground, right under the hex. Yeah, yeah, that'd kind of suck. Mm. <laughs> but it would be cool to engage. Hmm, fancy. After we get to Monsoon, I'll gather up a bunch of my stuff there. I think I left some money in storage and gold, too, because I was going to use it as my main base. Want to buy something? Mm. How can I help you? <clears throat> Excellent. Brand has absolutely served me well through this entire playthrough, basically. What a good sword. I almost don't want to replace it. Out of curiosity... What are your guys' opinions on Brand? The sword that I've been carrying around this time. My duty? I'm gonna guess it's the name of that halberd then, huh? Once it's restored. It's a really good sword. It is reliable. Those that mace move set's pretty rad. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Basic bandits. Slurp. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Thus is the value of preparation brought into stark reality again. That makes sense. Pain seems to be a really good debuff. <clears throat> I'm kind of thinking about what I want my next starting set to be, basically. Ugh. Can we not? <laughs> I have kind of been considering something, too. One of the things that I'm considering saving up some of the proceeds from our uh, time here is maybe a more professionally made model. And eventually, probably, not like a, a contracted one, but like an iPhone that I can use exclusively for my face tracking. Which will improve the quality. Those two things will improve the quality immensely. At least in my face. Blah, 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 blah. If you guys have any opinions on that, please send them to me. Hopefully. I've got Grim working on emotes and a reference sheet that I'm going to use. And then I will scout out some possible artists and see if we might be able to work out something for it. I'm still probably going to tweak and work on this one, though, because it's kind of fun. <laughs> yeah. If the opportunity presents itself, why not, right, Spicer? Exactly. Which I believe I can probably nab for just $300 off of Amazon or eBay. It just needs to be an iPhone with a fairly recent chip. And I'm not going to use it for anything other than this, so... It'll basically be strapped to a little charging station in front of my computer. That's a current plan for upgrades to the stream itself. I might look into, as well, getting some overlays and stuff, but I do like a very simple overlay. Because, you know, I, I would like for everybody to chill out with me, not be one of those uh, those hype streamers. That's not in my blood. <laughs> I'm a calm being. What do you think of this one, by the way? The one that I've had set up for a while. <laughs> That's 
fair, Spicer. So, have you seen some more uh, common overlays that uh, VTubers use? I'm a minimal kind of person too. This is a minimal design. Like, I'm trying to make most of the gameplay the focus. And that's not to say that the other, uh... And that's not to say that that's a captain, actually. I need to take him a little bit more seriously. And that's not to say that there's anything bad with that particular type of, uh... Layout, either. Mm -hmm. That gray bar is useful, though, because it has all my links and it... Is a way to thank everybody and the ones who've uh, most recently contributed and whatnot. I could look into changing the overall size of like this actual gameplay section, like right here, into where instead of being cut off right at this edge. It instead is just the edge right here. Like, this is layout, and it just intrudes a little bit on this red bit here. That's true. That's a good idea as well, Spicer. Thank you very much, Runebean. That's true, that's true. Letterboxing can be a problem. I like it. It does look pretty darn cool. It's a giant boy. What sort of layout do you plan on switching it to, Arun, whenever you switch your model? Nope. Oh, hey, console. Thank you very much for the raid as well, friend. And thank you for your bringing your beans with you as well. And welcome to all of consoles. Uh, my name is Ari. We are playing Outward right now. <laughs> Raid! How are you doing tonight, console? Has it been a good day? Did you have a good stream? Yeah. Mine's been pretty good so far, too. Making my way to Monsoon to pick up a couple of, uh, extra items I left behind. <laughs> yes, Spicer, it dropped, like, a while ago, too. I'm sorry, human, I don't believe I have that particular one set up. But, you may feel free to lurk as you will. It's nice to meet you. Did 
The trailer does look really good, though. Swicer. Yeah. It's been a learning experience for me as well. But, that's part of the fun. Scuff is flavor. Hmm. If somebody could inform me, where is the alert command from? Because I might see about adding it to my channel, too. Otherwise, I will do the research as well. I'll see about getting it on here. Yes, gameplay rune. <coughs> Tasty, tasty gameplay. <laughs> I mentioned that in the beginning of the stream, Spicer. It does. I have stream elements as a bot, but I've only got it set up for basic stuff. It's a moment. There are a couple of commands you can use, but nothing much. I've mostly been focusing on increasing, like, being a better streamer in general before I start focusing on infrastructure and equipment and whatnot. It looks like it might be close to second row speed, Spicer. I appreciate that, Spicer. I do. Like, a lot. Very, very much. But I also want to improve for my folks, too. So, so... Keep that. So... They're okay. So. 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 Sekiro is a pretty good example of a good souls like as well. Greetings, friend. Spicer is a very deliberate bean. Literally, Sekiro was parry the game. But it was so good! Bap, 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 bap. That with me. So those boots, so those boots. I think what I'm going to do, by the way, this is going to go into a chest, this is going to go to a chest, and I'm going to get a Master Trader's hat for the next uh, playthrough. Gonna need those. I 
What you got there, Spicer? Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Go ahead and bring that with me. Dropped it on the ground, didn't I? Like an idiot. Wing. Hello there, and y'all. Uh, I use Mana Ward typically whenever I have my Fire Sigil up. Uh, I haven't gotten into the habit of it yet, but I'm also going to use it to as a mitigation, sort of like another counter. <laughs> I've got some sleep, console. I'm not going to keep you here. I appreciate you coming, though. What can I do for you? <clears throat> I'm glad, Consul. That makes me happy. And that's not just a platitude. That makes me very, very happy. I'm glad you want to be around here. That's a very fine catch, too, Alex. I think you too, Bendy Bean. I see you. <laughs> Can I help you? What game are you guys talking about? Hmm. <coughs> Morrowind! I'll have to view that video after I end stream. Decent amount of monies. We are pretty much ready to roll then. The rest of this uh, I will leave here for now. Look. Neat, but nah. I'm 
I do believe I did. I want to check and see if there's more, though, because I like food. I think the last one I remember seeing was uh, the barbecue turkey and whatnot, which, honestly, I'm hungry thinking about it. <laughs> yep, barbecue turkey. Ah... Uh... Okay, we'll load into Monsoon, or rather, the Schwamp. Man, I hope Elden Ring is as good as we're hoping it is. All right. You should, Tiffy. It's very good. All right, so it is that time of night, Beans. And that's okay, console. I really like the food pictures, honestly. I enjoy making things. Ah, please cook for me. <laughs> These can be some of your delicious recipes, too. You'd like uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance, which might be a fun game to stream sometime, too. <laughs> I do need to eventually get a Discord up and running. I'll have a channel especially for you, console, for recipes. <laughs> Alright. We'll have a meme channel for Spicer, too. <laughs> I can understand that, too, console. <laughs> Thank you, Spicer. Well, it is about 15 after my beans. I do appreciate you all coming here and visiting me tonight. As I always do and always will. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your night. Please sleep well. I look forward to seeing you next time. I am thinking about streaming on either Friday or Saturday. So I will update you on the Twitters if I end up doing something like that. <laughs> Escape from Architraz. But good night everybody. I appreciate and love my beans. Thank you, console. You rock as well. Everybody here rocks. Doesn't matter if you're talking. Doesn't matter if you are. You rock. You're a good person. I appreciate you. And have a good night, darn it. 